Hello and welcome to the news cash, your daily roundup of gaming news and myself and Marta. This time on the 23rd of June I'm bringing you some news regarding Sniper Elite 3, Batman Arkham Knight and Heroes of the Storm. Now this time I'm going to start with Sniper Elite 3 as if you're wanting to get this title on the Xbox One I suggest you get ready to do some downloading as the retail version of the game is equipped with a 10 gigabyte day one patch now the actual mandatory install is just shy of 20 gigabytes now rebellion who are of course the developers of the title did say to eurogamer that the patch makes various improvements to the game and actually brings the whole game install size down basically it was originally 21 gigabytes but it can now be 19 gigabytes because while well, they have this 10 gigabyte day one download but you may be wondering, well, why do they have such a huge day one patch in the first place? Now, it does seem to be due to have something to do with, rather, the way that the Xbox One currently handles game updates. And Rebellion did issue an official statement saying, quote, the main part of the update is to sync data between the game's retail discs and the Xbox Live Digital Download Edition of the game. In the several weeks between sending the code off to manufacture and release, rather than sit around or take a break, we've continued to work on the game, making improvements and optimizations. We've also begun to work on multiplayer DLC, and a small part of this update is to introduce a compatibility pack. This is standard for any game that adds DLC, it's just to make sure everyone can have the same multiplayer experience whether they own DLC or not. Now, the 10 gigabyte day one patch is actually one of the largest that they've ever seen, um, generally speaking. It was actually discovered by one of the Eurogamer's YouTube editors when he tried to play the Xbox One version of the game. And, of course, Rebellion did also acknowledge that for those of you with a perhaps not so good internet connection it may take a while to download and rebellion did acknowledge this as well saying quote while we understand gamers will be frustrated at the wait the good news is that the update will actually reduce the size of the game's total install footprint on their hard drive and reduce the size of future patches significantly it's part of this ongoing optimization that's enabled sniper elite 3 to perform well at a native 1080p on xbox one and ps4 we appreciate everyone's patience and we firmly believe Sniper Elite 3 will be worth the wait. Now, day one patches will be applying to the other versions on PS4, PS3 and Xbox 360, but they will be much smaller, so for some reason it's just the Xbox One version that will be, or the patch for the Xbox One version that will be weighing in at a rather mighty 10 gigabytes. Now, next up is a little bit of a rumour regarding Batman Arkham Knight and the release date. Now, of course, it was actually delayed back in 2015. It was originally supposed to be coming out in October, but was pushed back to allow Rocksteady more time to work on it. Now, Rocksteady themselves haven't actually hinted at a definite release date, but there is a listing on the Microsoft Store page that, that lists the game for a release of February the 24th, 2015. Now there will be a link in the description below this video to a screenshot of the listing which is actually still up at the time of recording which does kind of make me think that maybe this is legit but of course we should wait for official confirmation from Rocksteady before we celebrate too much. Still, if it is legit, then that's actually not too bad. It was would have been only pushed back a few months, really, from October to February. That's not unreasonable. So hopefully this is right and Rocksteady will kind of just let this rumour roll. Or actually come out and say, yes, this is right. We are hoping to have it out for February 24th, 2015. So let's just kind of wait and see. And of course, as always, take any room with a pinch of salt. But I say chances are good that this is legit. And finally, we're going to finish up with Heroes of the Storm, as new regions are actually being added to the technical alpha for the game, which means that if you are living in Australia or Europe, you'll soon be able to join your US brethren in the battle arena. Now, according to Blizzard, the upcoming phases will allow opted-in players a chance of being selected for the technical alpha. And if you don't know how to do it, then there is a link again in the description below this video if you just kind of give you a guide on how to actually opt in. Now, along with more invites for North America, the, the doors will be opened for those of us in Australia, Europe and Latin America, New Zealand and Southeast Asia. Uh, during this phase, the English client will continue to be used for all applicable regions until, of course, a fully localised client is ready. 
Now, players will be able to make purchases using their region's currency, but of course it will be the English client. Now, Blizzard did say, quote, Our hope is that in the coming months we can release fully localised clients to support additional languages. Therefore, we intend to widen our testing to also include Taiwan, Korea and China. Following that, we are looking to implement fully localised clients for all remaining languages. So, if you have, like me, been impatiently waiting for your chance to try out Heroes of the Storm, well, if you haven't opted in, I suggest you do so now, as of course, you know, Blizzard are basically drawing your name out of a hat at this point, or maybe picking you out if you're lucky. Um, kind of like how they did with Hearthstone, you kind of have to wait for them to send you a key, if they send you a key. Um, but now that they've opened up to Europe, it means we actually have a chance. Woohoo! I've already opted in a long time ago, but I'm just going to double check it to make sure it's still in. Just so I know that Blizzard might, might actually pick me. I hope they do, as I'd love to get my hands on this game. It actually looks like a pretty fun game and hopefully won't be too punishing for newcomers as I'm really not a MOBA player. Still, happy news for those of us who want to try out this game. Um, hopefully the open beta will be starting well at least beta you know it's not even in beta it's in alpha at the moment so hopefully it'll become more open as we move forward but of course for the moment we kind of have to be patient and wait for our names to be drawn anyway that is me done for this video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time